for today's video, I am so excited because I have a haul for you and I have a haul from one of my favorite stores. So um, as you can probably tell by the title, it's a Walmart haul. And while there are like a couple of beauty and nail items and stuff in here, there's also just uh, random stuff, but random stuff that I find, oh, I'm playing over here, uh, really interesting slash useful. And I'm actually really, really excited about some of these things. So, so, not so, so, after I went shopping, I came home, I was like, I have to film a haul for them because I had way too much fun at Walmart and I wanted to show you what I got. So, I am going to jump right in to my Walmart haul. So, I am going to start, actually, I am going to start with the more beauty type items. Um, as I, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys yet, but recently, Essie has actually become my favorite nail polish brand. And for a long time, I really liked OPI and I don't know if I just maybe hadn't tried enough Essie polish or something, but recently when I painted my nails this color right here, I fell in love with Essie because the application was so unbelievably easy and opaque that I was like, I have to go buy other colors. So I bought a couple other colors. The first one that I got is Fiji and this color is a, it looks kind of like OPI's Mod About You. It's like a creamy pink. So I'm really excited. It looks like it's opaque to see how this paints on. Um, then I got this really pretty kind of blue charcoal slate color called Babbling for Bobbles. Interesting name. Really pretty. I thought it was an interesting kind of different take on dark polish that I always like to whip out around this time of year. Or all year round, just kind of depends. Then I got this hot pink kind of color in Plumberry. And then I also got more of a sheer nude, which random, but that's actually Dan's like favorite nail polish is nail polish that's just kind of nude and doesn't really look like you're wearing any. And I like it too. It's really clean. So I was joking when I pulled this off the shelf. I was like, Dan, your favorite. And this one is called Adorable. And this is just a sheer um, nude kind of pink color. So yeah, and I already said this, right? Plumberry. So pretty. Those are ugh, the four colors that I got and I'm really excited. I'm definitely gonna change out my polish tonight. I'm just not sure what color yet. So the next thing that I got, I'm actually, I take that back. I'm not gonna do it in a new order. I'm just gonna grab bags and pull things out. The next thing I got is this Trim Salon Boards Nail Care. They're just two nail files and these are my favorite nail files because they're rougher. So they actually, it's like easier to file. Um, I don't know if that's good or not or bad. I don't know enough about nail care, but I like that it's easy to get the shape that I want using these nail files. So um, then I got two more little things of light bulbs for my like Scentsy warmers. So I got two of these. I burn those things like a maniac. And then I got a bunch of the little wax cubes from Walmart. I kind of feel bad for Scentsy. That sounds bad. I don't feel bad for Scentsy because I know Scentsy is still a profitable company. But Scentsy was the first place I had ever heard of these. But then Walmart started making them, these like wax cubes. And then a bunch of other brands have hopped on that like wagon as well. And they're just wax melts. If you don't know what those are, you plug these things into the wall and it has a little bowl on top that gets heated by a light bulb and you put different scented cubes and it helps make your whole house smell really really good oh and side note someone on my vlog channel and I wish I could remember who um, said that if you take the end of your candles you know when you get all the way to the bottom and the candles done but there's still wax there if you scoop it out you can use that as like wax warmer like just like these so that's a really good tip I had never heard of that so the first scent I got is ginger peach. Uh, this is from the Sensationals line, which is just, I think, Walmart's version of those Scentsy cubes or Scentsy things. And it smells, yeah, like ginger and peach. It's such a good scent. I think this is one of my favorite ones they make. Then I got a really autumn scent, and this is Warm Autumn Welcome. And this smells extremely spicy and cinnamony. And I thought that'll be nice for when it starts like really raining to put like a warm autumn melt on the thing. And I think it'll be really nice. Um, the next scent I got, this smells so good. This is apple currant from Febreze. It smells like, dude, it just smells like crisp apples. Like so, so, so good. I mean, I think they all smell good. That's why I got these scents. Then I got cucumber melon and this scent this is gonna be a really nice set for the scent for the bathroom. It smells very similar to the old Bath and Body Works cucumber melon scent, but a little more. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It smells 
pretty similar to that actually. All right, so then I got some flameless tea lights. These are the mainstay six pack flameless tea lights. And I like these for a couple different places. I have like a candelabra thingy. I don't know if that's what you'd call it in my bathroom. And I like putting those in there and letting them go like at night. So when I go to the bathroom, I've got like a nice little glow. So uh, yeah, then I got a double pack of Renew Bosch and Loam Fresh Contact Solution. I like this contact solution. I've used a bunch. I've had weird reactions to some, but um, this one always seems to work really well for me. And it's a huge double pack for like, dude, I want to say like $13. I don't know. I go through contact solution like a maniac though. It's kind of crazy. So the next thing is, if you don't have a hookup to your car, you probably all know about this. I'm just hauling it anyways. If you don't have a hookup to your car for your iPod or your iPhone, this is really great. This is a Philips um, cassette tape, if your car has one to plug it in. And you put the tape in and then you plug the other end to like your iPhone, your iPod, iPad, whatever, and you just play your music. So kind of um, handy if you don't have that in your car. And this was like $9. So we had had one that lasted for like so long, but then it just randomly broke the other day. And now when it plays, it only plays part of the track. Like you'll hear the backup vocals, but not the lead singer. It's really weird. So um, the next thing I got was Ralph's homemade Arabiata pasta sauce. I so recommend this pasta sauce. It's ridiculous. It's really expensive for pasta sauce. It's like $7. But if you think about that in terms of going to a restaurant, is not bad because this is like all the pasta sauce you'll need for your family. Actually, maybe for like three or four people, I'd say this would probably serve like four people. They're saying six, but I'm saying four. So good, it's spicy, but not too spicy, yummy. It's all like good ingredients in there. There's not like a ton of stuff in there. It's just Italian tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, red pepper, basil, black pepper, and oregano. This is so, so good. I love Walmart. Walmart is like, especially as time has gone on, they carry more and more like organic, um, healthier items and lines, like for whatever your diet is, like gluten-free, organic, vegan, vegetarian, they carry all kinds of things now and it's kind of always expanding. So, um, oh, I didn't see this one. I also got, this is a Better Homes little Scentsy Cube thing. And this is in the scent Frosted Sage Leaf. Let's smell this. Yeah, this is, this is a really light scent. How do you, it kind of smells lemony. Maybe it smells exactly like sage. I don't, I've never had sage before, but yeah, it's nice and light. I feel like this would be another really good like bathroom scent. Um, then I got this Lacey Laurel Sheer Up kind of chubby lip pencil. And this is from the line Flower, which is that Drew Barrymore line at Walmart. So I tried a couple of her things in the past. I liked it okay, you know, so I'm interested to see how this goes. I love Drew Barrymore, so I'm excited. And I tried one of those little chubby like lip pencils from Rimmel when Fleur was out here. So, and I like loved it. So that's what kind of like made me want to go get one, even though it's not the same line, but still. Then I got this CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. I had one before, but I pretty much used it all up. And this is the black brown color, which I really, really like for days when I don't want to wear as much makeup, which is semi-often. So yeah, I really, really like that stuff and I highly recommend it. Then I got another Sensationals um, little wax cube thing in Calypso Sands. And this one smells very like beachy. So that's really yummy and I really, really like this. Okay guys, and the most exciting thing, which I don't know where this is. Actually, it's probably not gonna be that exciting to you guys. I don't know where the old package went. Um, so yeah, that is the end of my haul. I actually have to go and answer this phone call now. I hope you guys have a really great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye guys.